Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Google Drive and seeing how we can leverage AI and Zapier with this specific tool. If you're new to the channel, welcome here at Web Cafe AI. We are tackling all 5,000 apps when it comes to Zapier. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Google Drive and seeing one use case that we can use ChatGPT in order to ensure more effective processes in our backend. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rename this Zap to Google Integrations. As always, the Zaps can be found in the description below. And today's trigger, we're gonna go ahead and use Google Drive as the trigger, and we're gonna do the trigger of a new file. And essentially, you're gonna see the whole thought process behind this. So we're gonna go ahead and do new file in folder. I'm gonna hit continue. Choose our account, which is gonna be our courses account here at Web Cafe AI. We're gonna hit continue here, and then let's find our drive and our specific folder. So in this context, we made a folder dedicated to this kind of stuff called API access. And as we know from previous tutorials, we wanna make sure that the access is basically anyone with the link. So therefore allowing for the backend to grab it. And then from, from now, for this specific tutorial, we're gonna be looking at this image here, which is gonna be a high quality hamburger. Replace this with the context of maybe a product that you're releasing, maybe a service you're releasing. Essentially what we plan on building out here today is, is if you were to grab a product file or product image, name it in the caption what it is so maybe you know uh u.s made dog collar or dog food that is you know you know organically made and stuff like that name it completely in the text files name so as you see here we've named it high quality hamburger and then from there we're going to grab that data and we're going to make a social media caption obviously you can use this in whatever context you want but this just shows you one use case that we can use ai in this here all right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose our Google Drive here. And then our folder is gonna be in our YouTube Zaps folder. And then we're gonna do API access. From here, we're gonna hit continue and we're gonna test this. And then one of the files should show up here. More specifically, we're looking for the image file of the hamburger. So let's see if we can find that real quick. So we're gonna use this little search bar here. All right, so as you see above me, we have the file name right there, which is high quality hamburger. That is what we're looking for here. Yours might be whatever you wanna name your product and give a description for that product. From now, we're gonna go ahead and do a chat GPT block here. Go ahead and do conversation, continue, continue again. And then we're gonna go ahead and do what we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and say, based on the product described, we're gonna do semicolon parentheses. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the title name because that's where we put our description of the underlying product here. We're gonna say generate a social media caption with three specific niche hashtags. And then we're gonna do one cool thing here. We're gonna add a parameter here. So we're gonna say parameter follow Twitter guidelines because we're gonna go ahead and just you know streamline this whole thing so it comes out as a tweet. We're gonna go ahead and up our model to GPT-4. You can use 3.5 in this context. I like using four in context that people are gonna actually internalize the information. Therefore, we wanna make it as effective as possible. And then we can use a memory key called tweet drive. Essentially, this makes it so that the output is consistent and looks good every single time. All right, perfect. So we have our specific niche caption here, which is level up your dinner game with our delectable high quality hamburgers. And then we have the hashtags. The only issue that we see here is the quotation marks. No problem. If you're familiar with this channel, you already know what we do next, which is going to be the formatter here. And we're going to go ahead and format text as that is the underlying data we're dealing with here. We're going to transform. We're going to say replace. And then we're going to do the input as the outputs of that original chat GPT conversation. We're going to find the quotation marks. We're going to replace an empty space here. We're going to test that action. And then that should lead it so that our caption looks you know, legit and nice and effective here. So no quotation marks and it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and add our final block here and we're gonna go ahead and just get Twitter. So we're gonna do Twitter. We're gonna do an event of create a tweet. Continue, continue. And the message is gonna be the underlying, uh, not that one. We're gonna do the formatted version. And then obviously if you wanna add fixed text here, all you need to do is do like hashtag web cafe AI. And then that would always show up every single time this um, flow occurred. Obviously, this being the variable from here, we can go ahead and actually add the image, the underlying image that we just had there. And it's either going to be file or web content link. So we're going to first try file and then we're going to continue here. And then if we test this action, this should push a tweet. All right. As you see the left of me, we have our tweets with the hashtags and then the fixed hashtag, the specific caption of the underlying image and then the image itself. So really cool stuff here. 
Now, this is just one small use case here. If you wanna see another use case when it comes to this kind of formula, specifically with Google Drive, check out our Shopify video in our playlist that's coming up here as we go through the entire process of adding a product to a Google Drive folder and building out the title, the SEO meta description, and essentially everything that's associated with copy when it comes to listing a product. So make sure to check out that video, but if you feel like you've learned something up to this point, like the video is completely free and it helps us here at webcafe ai check out the playlist at the end of this video as we do a ton of stuff when it comes to ai automation and specifically we're tackling all 5,000 apps so maybe there's an app for you that you're looking for specifically when it comes to zapier and chat gpt but without further ado i'll see you in the next video thanks for tuning in and yes surprise i'm an ai avatar make sure to explore more here at webcafe where we demystify ai for your personal and business life until next time.